And now we are continuing chapter 3 of Destruction via the Mirror Image right now. We're on page uh, 54 through 56. Now Hopper responded, I don't know. How do you play it? Well, we take turns choosing either truth or the dare. Either way you go, it's usually a risky situation. But it's so much fun to play amongst people. Okay, let us go at it. This could be interesting. Nahafa said quickly. A-Rod was the cool but daring type, while Nahafa was shy at times and more about the truth of things. Occasionally she possessed a wild streak that would shock a whole nation, I thought. At least this was how I thought her personality was. Nahafa was a nice brown-skinned girl who loved doing daring things. She could be a risk-taker, or be free at times, yet still seem quiet at the same time. Of course, A-Rod always thought the truth should set you free. This is the kind of mentality he kept. They asked each other easy questions at first, so they could be at, e at ease even more. But then as the game progressed, the questions and obstacles got tougher for the both of them. Also, the questions got more and more interesting. It got to the point where Nahafa dared A-Rod to kiss her. A-Rod hesitated, being that he was not sure what Nahafa was after, or if it was something suspicious that start doing the, vo the voyage. Even though this was just a game, he thought about how Nahafa's wishes and respected her as a woman, and was not so quickened by the lust of for her. However, finally A-Rod and Nahafa kissed. And they fondled each other. Now Hoffa enjoyed the kiss. Even though it was for only for the sake of the game they were playing. But he felt something too. I cannot believe this game made us feel this way. A-Rod whispered to Nahafa. Just go with the flow, baby. Just go with the flow, baby. Nahafa responded slowly. They softened one another with each other's caress. They held each other as if they did not want anything to come between them. He kissed her neck and then slowly and sensually started taking her clothes off. She commenced to taking his clothes off right there in the corridor of the ship. Things got a little bit more intimate as she licked his spine as if it were ice cream or a lollipop. One thing led to another and it seemed as though a flame had started burning. The flame got more intense as they poured into lust from one another, as if they had, had known each other a long time. They went to a nearby bed and just outside the corridor, and then the lust continued in a nearby shower room. They got bubbly together in the shower. Of course, A-Rod was not sure what to think after all of that. I really do not know how to feel right now, lady, he said to her. We are living in the moment, so enjoy it while it lasts, okay? She replied. Okay, well, I will scratch your back if you scratch mine, he answered. Okay, now let's get something straight. You're going to do more than just scratch my back, she yelled with confidence. Having said that, he just knew he had fun and nothing could stop that really he knew he had a great time he could put into words the time he had with her and how the game made it all occur he asked Nahafa how she felt about him she could not answer for if she did she would be cheating herself Nahafa felt something but love and a relationship or something further was non-existent Nahafa was speechless about it from time to time and did not want to comment on how good the lovemaking was. A-Rod was scared to mention anything too. Nevertheless, he felt a sense of love in Hoffa. But she was more comfortable about keeping what they had done a secret. Nahafa and A-Rod split away from each other that night quietly, as if nothing really occurred. But both were shocked about what they had done and how they felt afterward. A-Rod stayed up late thinking about them in the corridor, in the bathroom, and Hoffa had strange dreams about that night. 
but it did not bother her as much as it bothered A-Rod. Later, A-Rod bumped into y'all and Sophia playing chess in another room. So y'all playing chess? A-Rod spoke. We are learning to be better, Sephora and Yao answered. A-Rod joined into their game to take the mind off to, to take his mind off things. But later Yao Ying left because she wanted to do something else. So for Sephora and A-Rod together was there. And A-Rod said to Yao, Why leave so quickly, ma'am? Sephora spoke. Let's play some more. A-Rod answered, yeah, where are you going? Y'all told them she was getting tired of games. So Sephora and A-Rod were left alone to play more games. I guess it's just us two now, A-Rod said. It's okay, player. You up for a game? Sephora asked. A-Rod told Sephora that he had played a game of truth to dare with Nahafa. And she questioned how the game went. And how he told her it was fine and left it at that. Sephora asked him, who won the game? He told her it was a stalemate. Much like how chess games, how the chess game between you and Sephora, you and Sephora, much, much like how the chess game was between Sephora and Yao. Are you sure? There are usually interesting results in that game, for real. I heard about them. He answered, sure, I'm sure. Okay, everything was just okay. Are you sure you're not hiding something from me? She asked. He replied, nope. And even if it was, that's none of your business. I guess we should do something else. Sephora continued. Yeah, let's do that. You seem like you mad. No way, A-Rod said. No way. 